Hello guys, welcome to Touring the Excel Interface. So we shall be exploring the interface of Excel. The first thing we have here on the left side of the Microsoft Excel is the Quick Access Toolbar. The Quick Access Toolbar shows us certain commands or certain frequent commands that we want to be issuing. Okay, so like take for instance, if you are the type that likes to uh, make your text bold and you always want to have access to that quickly, you can put that under the quick access toolbar. The next we have there is the title bar, which tells us the title of the workbook. So by default, Excel will name it as book one because we have not renamed this workbook. The search bar gives us access to help of anything we have forgotten and we are trying to remember them, some of the commands. Like if for instance, I want to uh, remember how to freeze my uh, pin. I just come here and type freeze and I'll see the freeze pin. So, and I can see without me even knowing where they are in Excel, I can easily use this to navigate through. Okay. So that is what we use the search bar for, for help. The user's name will be displayed here. Okay. As the author, most especially when you've subscribed. This button shows us the um, upcoming features that are coming into Microsoft Excel. Now, this next thing we have here is the ribbon the options, which shows us the options for us to manipulate a ribbon. So the question is, what is the ribbon? The ribbon is this entire section here. That's your ribbon. Okay, so if I want to auto hide my ribbon, so all I need to do is to click here and select auto hide ribbon, and that ribbon will be hidden. So how do I bring it back again? I'll just come here and click here and I will bring back my ribbon. If I only want to show the tabs, maybe I want a bigger space, I just want to show little tabs. So I can show little tabs and I have a bigger space to work with. But if I want to show both the tabs and the command, I can click this and I will show both the tabs and the command. So this space becomes smaller. So if you want to minimize your Excel, you can click on minimize and it will minimize your Excel. If you want to restore down i can restore down and also you can maximize it again if you want to close the excel you can call me and click on the close button and i'll close the excel up the next thing we have here is the tabs and what do we have here on the tabs we have the file tab the home tab insert draw page layout formulas data review views developer help and power pivot so your power pivot might not show because i'm using excel 365 and i've activated power pivot so all these you'll find on your normal Excel minus your Power Pivot. So under the Home tab, you find the commands. Like these are the groups, okay? We have the clipboard group. We have the font group. We have the alignment group. We have the number group. And under this group, we have the commands. Take for instance, we have the alignment, left alignment, center alignment, top alignment, and bottom alignment commands. They're all found here. So you have the bold command. We have the italic commands under the font group. Now under the insert, this talks about anything you want to bring into Excel. Like take for instance, you want to create a new chart, you want to create a pivot table, you can find it under the insert tab. We have the draw tab where we can draw anything we want to draw in Microsoft Excel under our sheet. The page layout shows us how we can manipulate the sheet. Okay, how we can also manipulate our printing. The formula shows us the formula that comes with Microsoft Excel. So we have the text formulas here, the logical formulas, and they are all under the function library group. We can create our own formulas by going to define names. We can audit the formula by coming here to audit them. Anything that has to do with data can be found here. The data tools are here, text column, your data validation, etc. Under the review tab, this talks about whenever you want to add more annotations to your Excel sheet. Like take for instance, you want to place certain comment, you can do that with review. You can also protect your workbook and your worksheet in the review section. The view talks about how do you want to view your Excel normal view like we'll be looking at later we can also look at how we can freeze our pain by going to freeze pain it is so we can do a lot here now the developer section talks about whenever you want to go into creating your own customized excel worksheet and workbook so you can do that using the developer tab so for those of us who are getting into macros the programming section of excel you can get into that right that is uh, actually writing your VBA, your Visual Basic for Application code. You can do that 
using the developer section. So whenever you need help, go to help. Now, so the next thing we have here is the name box. The name box shows us the cell that we are in. So the name box tells us the cell that we are in. So if you look at the name box here, we have E3 because we are in column E and we are also in row three. Okay, so if I go down to this cell now, which is B6, you can see B6 here. So it's telling me that I am in column B and I'm in row six. That is a cell where I am now currently. This is your formula bar for creating formulas for editing text, for editing numbers. So here we have the column name. Now in Excel, the columns are labeled in alphabetical order. The rows are labeled in numeric order. So the intersection between the column and the row is what we refer to as a cell. So this is a cell because it is the intersection between a column and a row. Now the down section that you have here is what we refer to as a status bar which tells us the status of the Excel workbook we are working on. So we can see the sheet one telling us that we are, the name of this sheet is sheet one. Okay. Now do we have different way we can scroll? We can scroll to the left, we can scroll to the right, we can scroll down and we can scroll up. So these are the different views we have. We have the normal view, we have the page layout view, we have the page break view. We'll get into this more as we move on into printing. So we can zoom our Excel. If I go back to my normal view, we can zoom our Excel in and out. So this is how and this is what the interface looks like in Microsoft Excel 365. In the next class, we'll be looking at what are cells, what is a workbook, and how does it work. See you in the next class.